As 3D renderers, we are always chasing tools that save time and push creativity further. Google's new Nano Banana project may sound like a joke, but behind it lies serious tech that could influence the way we use AI in rendering. In this video, we will break down how it could fit into our 3D workflow from speeding up processes to unlocking completely new possibilities. There are a lot of different ways to access Nano Banana, but personally, I prefer using it through Google AI Studio. You can find it at aistudio.google.com. Once you are in, click on the Try Nano Banana tab right here. Now, the interface itself is super straightforward. If you have ever used ChatGPT, it's going to feel familiar. You've got your prompt box where you type in what you want, and on the left side you can keep track of different conversations or experiments. Let's start with something simple. I will upload this bedroom render and ask Nano Banana to remove an object. Google has actually prepared some ready-to-use templates for editing images so your results come out clean. If you want to use those, just click Documentation on the left menu, go to Core Capabilities and then choose Image Generation. Scroll down and you will find prompt examples for editing images. I will copy the one for adding and removing elements. I will go back to the Google AI Studio, click on the plus button and choose Upload File. Now, let's paste the prompt. Using the provided image of the bedroom, please remove the nightstand lamp from the right nightstand. Keep the book and press Run. Isn't it amazing? Although the lamp was switched on, Nano Banana removed it and adjusted the lighting in that area automatically. Now, let's try replacing an object. Again, I will press the plus button, upload my render, and also upload the new lamp I want. Then I will type. Using the provided image of the bedroom, please replace the nightstand lamp on the right nightstand. With the attached one. And just like that, it swaps it out. It may have also uh, removed the book, but we can add it in the prompt to keep the book and then we won't have any issues. Next, let's replace the wood panels behind the bed. I will go back to the template prompts, copy one for material replacement, Upload my render and the new wood texture and adjust the text to say. Using the provided image, change only the wood on the panels behind the bed. To the new wood color and texture.
Keep everything else in the image exactly the same, preserving the original style, lighting and composition. Let's press run. Hmm. Sometimes it may not work. Let me specify more the command. It didn't work again. Let me try it one more time. And now it worked and see, such a clean result. Now imagine this, you receive a client markup with written notes directly on the image. I can upload that to Nano Banana and simply write. Please apply the prompts you see written on the image. The edits are applied, but the text stays visible here. So I will repeat the prompt and add. Please apply the prompts you see written on the image. Remove the text from the image. I don't know about you, but I am seriously impressed with how powerful this tool already is. And for our final example, let's push it a bit further. I will upload our render along a mood board that shows some accessories and even a dog. My prompt will be using the provided image of the bedroom. Please add the elements you see in image 2. Wow! And here is the key. The more specific you are in your prompt, especially about where its elements should go, the better your results will be. And that's just a small taste of what Nano Banana can already do, from removing and replacing objects, to swapping materials, to even following client markups. It's clear this tool can become a serious time saver for us as 3D renderers. Of course, like any AI, the results depend on how specific you are with your prompts, but even now, it's incredibly impressive. I'd love to know what you think. Would you use Nano Banana in your rendering workflow? Drop your thoughts in the comments and if you try it out, let me know how it went for you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more rendering and AI tips and hit the bell so you don't miss the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next one.